I've been thinking about doing this. Doing a little system guide for Grand Blue. Because I think a lot of people are probably lost. Either they didn't play the original game, or they did and they forgot. I'll explain them with Gran, since like he's the most, you know, he's Gran. You want to play the free to play version? He is always playable, right? The other three characters that are free rotate. It's a four button fighter, mostly. You have a light, a medium, a heavy, and a U. This is like a special move for your character. And universally, the crouching version, this is a sweep. Sweep is also cancelable as well, so if you want to do a you know, special body bitch, sweep in a fireball, you can do that kind of stuff as well. The three main buttons, delight, medium, and heavy, also have auto combos if you're up close. So if you hit them three times, you get an auto combo. And they also have uh, overhead and low like follow-ups, so that's like an overhead and then it's like a low as well that you can do. Another thing is the game has close normal, so this is close light, this is far light. Characters can do close light into close medium and then do the auto combo after, you see this? The close light, this is like your plus on block, like, you know, I do a throw after, or like, I do a strike after. There's also dashing attacks. Dashing light is a universal, like, forward lunging attack that is plus on block. And most characters can link, like, their light from it. You see this? You can also, if you're up close, usually do your medium auto combo. The other vol ups are different for characters, so like, you know, he has a low. And then this is this H here. I think this is for combos. Characters normally also have an anti-air on their crouching heavy. Counter hit anti-airs are huge in this game. You get a big combo off of it. If you're curious about what your character does, operating this training mode is super easy. Go to your character guide and then it has all your moves. So you can turn on the inputs or look at the, the shortcut versions. You can see what your U move does. So it tells you that Grand's move is like chargeable and stuff. Also says the same thing for the special moves and the fancier versions of them and your universal mechanics. All this kind of stuff it gives you a breakdown of the character. The game also has like a, a training, like this is how the character works. Here's some tips on how to play him. Here's how you should play him in mid range. Here's how you should play him in general. And then at the end, there's basic combos. And if you want to launch these and learn a basic combo with the character, you just click it and you say begin. And now you're in the combo trial. And then you're like, okay, I want to go back to training mode. You just click return to training mode and where you just were standing you're now back to training mode. The general like pressure and stuff in this game again is like close light into throw, close light into your medium or whatever. You can also like jump to beta throw a lot of times too. So like run up jump is like really good for baiting throws. But most characters have like a move that's like bounces them off the wall. And most of your combos are gonna be like, do a move, it bounces off the wall, then do like a normal into another move. And then you could do your ender or whatever, right? There's also, universally a block button and then that block button back is a dodge a little spot dodge this gets you out of the way of stuff so if your opponent is doing something like throwing fireballs at you you can spot dodge them you can also roll oh, through them safe. so like you can hit forward and you'll roll and air blocking you cannot air block at grounded normals is the general rule but you can air block uh special moves or uh air to airs those are things that are also fun similar to other arxis games there's also dash momentum and the sliding momentum of running puts you close to your opponent versus if you just are at a standstill you know you don't go in as, as much yeah same thing happens on your neutral jumps when you're running grant is sliding a bit versus this is just a neutral jump you should use these shortcuts there is a special move button in the game so instead of doing quarter circle every time you throw a fireball you can just hit the special move button below the light bar you'll notice when you do special moves they have a cooldown the ex version which is heavy, has a longer cooldown. The other thing that they added in this game that may be new to you if you haven't played Grand Blue before is that there's a U version of the Fireball. And even if your move is already on cooldown, so you notice that it's on cooldown right now, I can still do the U version of the Fireball. They have different properties on them. So like you may, like this boot launches in the middle of the screen, whereas like the EX one does not. Regular Fireballs will lose the EX Fireballs, which will lose the this Fireball. And the characters have just wild combo routes and new options that they can do with this. The U move costs meter. It costs you 50 to initiate. And if it hits, it refunds you 25. Not all moves will refund, but the only other like strange mechanic to worry about is the diamonds at the top of the screen that lets you do this guard break move. If someone hits you with this, then you should hit your medium and heavy together to get out of it. And you can do that to them. You can also use them in, in combos. And it's like a free launcher. It costs a diamond, but... If you don't have any moves, then this move will launch them. You can also just do a special or a super, and then it will give you back the diamond you spent, which is pretty cool. A lot of a lot of combos rely on that. If you do this move, you get a follow up from it that looks like this, and then you can combo with whatever you want. 
It also gives you a guard cancel. I can do the same input and then guard guard cancel. It costs me one diamond. If you'd hit your big super, like that, this one, Super Skybound Art, it removes two diamonds from them. So Super Skybound Arts are huge. If you're at one or zero, you take more damage. So it's very bad to run out of diamonds, as you could guess.